Never go all in on just one mastermind or just one coach or just one anything. Because there's going to be more facets to your business that you need to learn than what that one person or what that one group can probably offer you. Welcome, everybody. This is For the Love of Money, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success by sharing the tools, tips, and stories of those who have already made it. My name is Chris Harder, and each week I will bring you incredible guests in order to prove that when good people make good money, they do great things. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another amazing episode of For the Love of Money. It's another Money Monday where we talk about everything that has to do with your money, earning money, saving money, creating money, you name it. And today we're going to talk about how much of your money you should invest in coaching. This is hands down probably one of the top questions I get from you guys, whether it's in my DMs or uh, if you guys text me, this is one of the top questions I always get. And it always sounds something like, how much should I be investing in coaching? How much should I be investing in courses or in masterminds or in a consultant? And it's this very obscure question because everyone's business and everyone's goals is so different. But I do have a very specific rule of thumb that I'm going to teach you today that I think is going to be really, really helpful for you. Now, let me start by, I just kind of lump everything like coaching, consulting, retreats, uh, masterminds, courses, school, you name it. I lump it all under what I call guidance. And you should always be investing in guidance. You will never, ever, ever grow to the extent that you are able to grow without investing in guidance. But when you're trying to make your first hundred grand, you should not be investing twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars in guidance under the assumption that, ooh, if I invest more, I'm going to make more. No, because you need that money out of the hundred grand that you're going to make. You need to disperse it in different areas like marketing and maybe hiring your first assistant and you know product and, and all these other things to help you create more income as the year goes on. And so you need a rule of thumb. You need a guide to know how much you should invest in what I call guidance. So I guess the first point is this. Investing $0 is absolutely not an option. If you're trying to muscle it out on your own, I don't care if you're aiming for your first 100 grand, your first million, your first 10 million, If you're trying to muscle it out on your own, that is a plan for failure. I promise you. Getting there on your own is not an option. But over-investing because someone or something seems shiny is also not a good option. So my recommendation for the amount you should invest in guidance, remember guidance is coaching, consulting, uh, masterminds, courses, school. It all falls under this category. Events. My recommendation for your guidance investment is 5 to 10% of your annual revenue. So if you're going to make 100 grand, that means 5 to 10,000. If you're going to make a million dollars, that means 50 to 100 grand. However, it's not that simple. There's certain times that you will be closer to the 5% recommendation than the 10% recommendation, depending on your income and revenue goals. So let me explain. I'm going to go a little deeper here. This is very important. Your first 50 to $100,000 in revenue should be quite simple. It should be quite inexpensive to get there. Let me repeat this because I see way too many people spending too much money in the beginning. A lot of shiny salespeople out there trying to teach you something. Your first fifty dollars to $100,000 should be quite inexpensive. It should be way down towards that 5% mark. There's too many people selling you, coaching you that you don't need, masterminds that you don't need to get your first fifty grand or your first seventy five grand or your first hundred grand. You don't need a ten dollars or $20,000 mastermind to get you to fifty grand. That's absurd. Now, don't get me wrong. The right coach, the right course, the right event, the right mastermind can speed up your journey, but you don't need it. And it can speed up your journey, but the right one at the right price, not the one that is so shiny that if you think you get in there, that everything's going to explode. You know, the first year, I'm going to use myself as as an example. The first year that Lori and I were making our financial comeback from zero. Remember, we lost everything about 11 years ago. and We had to start from zero. So the first year that Lori and I were making our financial comeback from zero, we ended up making about 200 grand in that first year. Income I earned, income she earned. Pile it together. I think we just crossed the 200 grand mark in that first year of our comeback. And I remember 
we spent about $10,000 that year on going to events. This was the, the year where we first went to our very first self-development event ever called Landmark Forum. That was a couple of grand for the two of us. And we went to a training. It was a week long called Journey to the Stage to learn how to speak and present better on a stage. So we invested in things like that. And it was about, a, about 10 grand out of the 200 grand that we were going to earn that year. We invested to learn. We invested to meet new people. We invested to expand our circle. And it paid off. It was not a large investment, 10 grand out of 200,000, but a responsible one. Now, 10 grand out of 200,000 is 5%. So we stayed closer to that 5% range, chasing down our first couple hundred grand. Now, if you need accountability, that's different. If you know how to get there and maybe you're making a pivot and you just know that you need someone to hold you accountable and hold you to a path of getting there, maybe that's when you can go closer to the 10%. So if you want to make 100 grand this year, you could spend $10,000. If you want to make 200 grand this year, maybe you could spend 15 to 20 if you need accountability to hold you to a path of getting there. But honestly, your first 50 to 100 grand really should be closer to that 5% mark. Books, courses, all the things that are inexpensive. Podcasts are free. YouTube is free. All the things that are inexpensive to get you to that first 50, 75, or 100 grand. You can't forget how much good free info is out there. Guys, you could literally build a business to 100 grand very easily without spending a penny. So if you're going to make 50 grand this year, 5% would be about 2,500 bucks. If you're going to make 100 grand this year, 5% would be about $5,000. So it might be like a $2,000 course and 500 bucks worth of books, something like that. Or if you want to make 100 grand this year, 5% would be 5,000. That might be a $200 a month business membership. And then two different one to $1,000 to $1,500 training events. By the way, don't put all your eggs in one basket either. Never go all in on just one mastermind or just one coach or just one anything. Because there's going to be more facets to your business that you need to learn than what that one person or what that one group can probably offer you. So diversify a little bit out of this budget. So now your investment into guidance gets more serious once you cross six figures, once you cross 100 grand. This is where I see everybody stall. You heard me use the term in the past many times called accidental entrepreneur. And an accidental entrepreneur, of course, is somebody who you know, says, oh my God, I'm so passionate about coaching. Oh my gosh, I'm so pas- passionate about X, Y, and Z. And they get there by muscling it out and saying, hey, I'm now coaching. Hey, uh, I launched a course. Hey, I launched a podcast. And they get to that 100 grand quite quickly without having any of the foundational things in place. Cash flow systems, tax planning, marketing plans, how to hire, how to scale. That's what makes them an accidental entrepreneur. And I love accidental entrepreneurs because they show they have the ability to create income, but now they need the fundamentals. And that is where most people get stuck. Right about 100 grand or right over 100 grand. You can't muscle your, pay, your way past your first one to 200 grand for very long. You'll burn out. Let me repeat that. You cannot muscle your way, especially alone, past your first 100 to 200 grand. You'll burn out. So this is where that 5 to 10% range becomes appropriate, maybe closer to the 10%. So 5% is, is still okay if you want to stay conservative. Let's say you're going to make 200 grand this year. That'd be 10 grand. 10% of $200,000 would be investing 20 grand. So that might be like 15 grand in a mastermind and five grand worth of courses and events or retreats or something like that. Bringing you back to our real life example, our second year of making our financial comeback, we went from 200 grand the year before to our very first million. I mean, first of all, let that sink in. Our second year of making our financial comeback, we went from 200 grand the year before to our first million ever in a year. And this coincidentally was the year that we joined our first mastermind. And this was the year that we bought our first VIP day from someone who was already doing what we wanted to be doing. We spent $74,000 on those two things in that second year. And then we spent another fifteen dollars to $20,000 on events that furthered our skill sets, events, trainings, that kind of thing. So we were just shy of $100,000 that year when we went from uh, $200,000 to our very first first million. Let me repeat that. We spent just shy of $100,000 that year when we went from 200 grand to our first million. So we spent about 9 or 10% of that million dollars on growing that year. This 5 to 10% recommendation goes all the way through earning 1 to $2 million. Um, if you're going to make a million dollars this year, you should, spend, you should be spending at least 50 grand and responsibly up to 100 grand. If you're going to make $2 million this year, if that's your goal, then you should be spending at least 100 grand and responsibly up to 200. But then, guess what? Instead of it scaling up and up and up towards that 10%, as you get past that couple million dollar range, it starts scaling backwards in your favor. So first, it starts low, 
5%, then it scales up to 10% you should be spending, but then it starts scaling backwards again once you cross the $2 million mark. So if your revenue, if your revenue goals are now breaching a couple million dollars a year, let's say your revenue goal this year is going to be $5 million, you don't necessarily want to spend $500,000 of that on coaches and masterminds and that kind of thing. That probably wouldn't be good money spent because you're going to have other expenses, more team, more marketing, more attorneys, you name it. As you scale up, more and more and more needs to be spent. In other words, the guidance investment, the coaches, the masterminds as a percentage starts to scale down once you get past a couple million dollars. You and your business partner might each invest a hundred grand in coaches, and you might both join a mastermind. So that would be two hundred thousand in coaches and fifty grand in a mastermind. But that's just two hundred fifty grand out of four to five million. See, four to five percent. So it starts scaling down. But the overall range, now that you've heard the different levels of where you should fall in that five to five to ten percent, the overall range is five to ten percent of what your goal is this year, what you expect to make is what you should be investing in guidance, coaches, retreats, courses, books, masterminds, etc. 5 to 10% is the magic number. I want you to actually go back and listen to this again to find out where you fall, to find out when you should be spending closer to 5% and when you should be co- like coaxing yourself to spend up to 10% and then when you should start be scaling back again. So go back and listen to this one more time. And in the meantime, we are finally opening up and doing interviews for our Elite Entrepreneur Mastermind it's super famous. You've heard about it a ton, I'm sure. I have probably you know 20 DMs a day where people say, this is on my dream board. This is my goal to be in this thing. And I love that. If you're going to make over $500,000 in 2021, then you're eligible to apply for it. And so you can apply for it two different ways. Uh, you can text the word elite to me at 310-421-0416. Or you can go to fortheloveofmoney.com forward slash mastermind and check out all the details there and fill out the application there. And then we'll get on a Zoom call with you to see if it's a good fit. So whether you text the word elite to me to start the conversation at 310-421-0416, again, text the word elite to me at 310-421-0416, or whether you go to forloveofmoney.com forward slash mastermind to check it out and fill out the application. If you're going to make over $500,000 this year, and by the way, most people are in there, they're in the $1 to $2 million range. If that's you, you've got to fight, bite, and scratch your way into this room. because I put together one of the most exclusive, most effective, needle-moving tribes you could ever imagine joining. And we're cutting it in half this year from 40 businesses to 20. And so don't wait. It's first come, first serve in terms of how I interview people for it. Go to fortolovemoney.com forward slash mastermind. I can't wait to see who I'm going to wrap arms with this year and who's going to collaborate together in order to grow each other's businesses. In the meantime, thanks for listening. You know what happens when you invest in yourself. You start making good money. And when good people make good money, they do great things. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.